from this shot alone, you can't tell just how much biodiversity there is until you put the camera under the water and you can see just how many beautiful fish there are in this rock reef. For example, the immediately recognizable Sergeant Major fish, which has that beautiful black and white striping with a yellow wash on it. Less immediately recognizable are some of the grayer fish in here, like the Sailor's Choice Grunt and the two species of snappers that you can find in here. The Schoolmaster Snapper, which is a yellowish color, and the Mangrove Snapper, which is reddish and gray. But most interestingly, in my opinion, is the presence of an extremely elusive species of fish called the Night Sergeant, which are those medium-sized, dark, banded fish underneath the rocks. Those are native to Caribbean rock reefs and live underneath rock crevices and dark areas where their dark, dusky pattern helps them camouflage perfectly into their habitat. It's hard to believe all these amazing species can be found in this one tiny little rock reef, but this isn't even close to the full amount of species that you could find in South Florida rock reefs. There's even more rock reefs, not too far from where I'm filming this right now, so let's go over there. Here's one of my favorite species that you could find around these kinds of areas. This is the checkered puffer, which is an oddly proportioned but still weirdly cute species with an unmistakable pattern of dark blotches. Now we're at one of my favorite spots to go fish watching, the incredible rock reefs off the coast of the Boynton Beach Inlet. Here there are some big, dense rock reefs made up of huge rocks and enough crevices for hundreds of fish to fit in at once. The larger fish in this shot that are either gray with lines on them or with white spots on them are Bermuda chubs, and the small streamline bodied ones with black stripes running down the body are Tom Tate grunt juveniles. At this specific location though, most of the fish you'll see are these spot tailed pinfish, the small round bodied silver fish with that black spot in the tail that sticks out, especially when you see hundreds swimming birds. You're also bound to see thousands of these bay anchovies swimming around. The only bad thing about the location of these coastal rock reefs, which you can see in the background, is that the beaches that surround them are full of human waste, especially plastic. It's quite unfortunate that seeing a piece of plastic on the beach is just about as much of a common sight as seeing a seagull. While these plastics on the beach directly affect the coastal rock dwelling fish species, the pieces of plastic that make it past the coast also have a very bad effect on the wildlife that lives in reefs farther out into the ocean. Even affecting the ocean's apex predators. and also land-dwelling animals like this arctic tern that rely on the ocean for their primary food source. All you need to do to help this is some simple gestures. If you live near a body of water, not just the ocean as all bodies of water are connected some way or another, clean up as much plastic from it as you could find and also appreciate the wildlife. You can also donate the Team Seas, the Ocean Cleanup, or the Ocean Conservancy, all incredible organizations dedicated to this. Make sure to watch as many of these videos as possible to support the cause. I have some amazing channels in the description, and also thank you to everyone who set this up. I can't wait to see what happens.